the issue of press freedom, and we are looking at some attacks um, on journalists that occurred during the year. We'll start off with the very disturbing um, incident of the killing of um, Ahmed Swali, um, uh, an investigative journalist uh, who worked with Tiger Eye P.I. We have a piece put together on that. Let's take a listen. In Swali was shot dead on Wednesday, January 16, 2019 at Medina by unknown assailants. The body was released to the family after an autopsy to enable Islamic burial rites to be conducted. The body was first sent to the Kuwait mosque at Medina for a burial service. Islamic prayers were said for the late journalist. Family and friends, as well as government representatives, the Minister of Information, Kojo Pong Krumah, and his deputy, Payos Ennam Hajide, were present to witness the burial service. The final funeral rites were performed at the Medina Cemetery, where Ahmed Hussein Swali was laid to rest. Investigative journalist Anas Arimiyao Anas was present to bid farewell to his colleague. So yes, that was a recap of events that happened earlier on in the year regarding the killing of um, Ahmed Swali, a Tiger Eye PI uh, investigative journalist. Mizuko um, Fiyabwa, um, your thoughts on the situation? Yeah, um, that was a very unfortunate incident that happened at the beginning of the year. Um, we it, it, it took us by so surprise. We we hadn't seen anything of that nature. Um, the the last time we had seen a similar action was about ten years ago when the Ashanti regional um, ch chairman of the D DJ was also shot and killed. Um, and, and so um, we we are not being used to such, such things. We only hear them um, happening um, in, in in some other countries. But then um, with this um, killing, especially when Swale had been in, in, involved in the number 12 in, in investigation done by Anas and something that the whole world had, 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 had been interested in, it gave the killing an international um, the, 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 dimension. The, Dimension. So everybody wanted to know what was actually happening. Um, following the incident, um, we at the DJ had had taken a, a, a few actions. We had we had held a press conference to to call on the police to take action. Um, after that, we had also had some engagement with the police. Um, as of now, as we speak, we are told the. Investigations are still an, an, an underway. One one concern we had expressed was how um, the police was handling the case <coughs> in in terms of the speed. Okay. And we 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 also thought that um, given the the high interest in the case, it would be good for the police to be doing a periodic briefing okay. as to how. Um, the case was going. Mm. They 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 did so a, a couple of times, but uh, afterwards um, they have stopped. But um, we are still following up <coughs> on, on the case. We are made to understand that some people uh, <coughs> have been have been um, arrested or have been investigated. Okay. What we want to urge the police to do is to speed up action. We know. Um, Investigations do Takes take so time, well. right. but then we urge them to to speed up our action because um, when when um, things like, like like this happen, they affect the image of the nation as a whole. Sure. I mean, our, our rating on the press freedom exactly, thing, and, 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 index and then also reduced, they, right? they also have a economic implication. Investors are are, are looking at certain things to. Yeah. To, right. to be informed as to whether they should come and locate here or not. So it is good for us to give give signals that we are we are up and doing and we are very much um, sure. Thank you. I mean, I, we need to rush through this a bit because we are running out of time. Well, Winston, you 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 are a practitioner as well, and yeah. when you hear of these things, I mean, how how do you 
just a minute for you. So a minute for the rest. Well, it gets scary, <laughs> and um, sure. you know, it gets scary minute. when you hear some of these things mm -hmm. also because you know you don't know what I mean. What would happen to you tomorrow? And so, like my uh, general secretary has said, it's it's important that all of us uh, would be careful. And as a people, also, you see, finally on this, the people who did this sat there for hours. They asked of a particular person. They're not doing much. They're suspicious persons. When we see suspicious people, we should, you know, raise alarms. Insecurity conscious. Yeah, I mean, we, we see pe uh, these people, we, we suspect, uh, and then we let them stay there, and then they do something like, oh, we saw them, they were like here. For eight hours, they eight were there. hours. That's you know, just too much. Just like they're waiting for somebody. Mm. And so when you see somebody, you know, hanging around and not doing anything, we just would have to, you know, inform the security agency. When they're informed also, the security agencies should be up and doing. Uh, the challenge is sometimes you inform them and they say, Mukra <laughs> <laughs> And that becomes, exactly. becomes a big, yeah, it big issue. Becomes a big issue. Yes, thank you, Doc. Yeah, yes, your your, thank your thank thoughts you. on this as well. Yes, yes, my take on this. Um, I'll look at it from a different point of view. The point is, it's very sad when a journalist is killed or incarcerated. In uh, Egypt right now, somebody is there for over three years for having done nothing, you know. So, but I'm looking at it from the point of view of whether he was killed because he was a journalist. Sure. Or because we have now reached a point where contract killing is the order of the day. Let's look at you from that point. So I think it's a sad thing. The police must be up and doing, like uh, my brother, the secretary has said. J -J -J but please, CJ, don't stampede the police to make the mistake. At least we've just spoken about the Takwati girls. Uh, the briefings, if they have stopped, let them stop. Because <laughs> these, these briefings, yes, you are generally so you are anxious. But these briefings may help the miscreants to cover their mm -hmm. trails. So if the briefings are not coming, as a secretary, you may go, they may give you something Private which is not for, not, mm. not for the public eye mm. or ear. Mm. But then, that they should come to the public, we are doing this, we are, I, I beg. In security matters, you've got to be very uh, okay. cautious about these things. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Well, I to share the position of uh, Dr. Uh, Danso. Yeah, I mean, it's always very difficult to be able to distinguish between the person uh, being uh, shot because he's a journalist or an individual. Mm -hmm. If, God forbid, something happens to me today, they are not going to say I'm a journalist, they say a lecturer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But uh, I think at the end of the day, we are all expecting that uh, the police should be able to provide us with security. It's as simple exactly. as that. Exactly, that's all we ask. But